let me introduce you to an Excel sheet which we have developed for calculating the required bollard pull of a barge which is carrying a cargo. These kind of calculations are very useful and very frequent in marine operations, when we need to know how much of force is required, to tow a barge which is carrying a particular cargo. To give a brief overview of these Excel sheets, we have included four different methods for calculation. The first one is based on DNV rules for marine operations. The second one is based on OPL guidelines for barge towing. The third one is based on BV which is Bureau Veritas rules and formulas. And the fourth one based on an empirical formula which is also quite widely used in the industry. In the beginning we also have an instruction sheet, in which the what and how of these Excel sheets are discussed. All the input cells are in blue and for some inputs, tables, and charts are included, from where these values have to be picked and input into the required cell. So let's begin with the DNV formula. This Excel sheet is based on the DNV rules for marine operations and it is applicable, when the vessel's ratio of length is to breadth is greater than 3, and the ratio of breadth to draft is greater than 6. On the left side we have the inputs and on the right side we have the outputs of the calculation. The inputs are categorized into, first the general inputs like the density, acceleration due to gravity, and then the inputs of the barge, say, the dimensions of the barge. Next are the inputs of the cargo, like the dimensions of the cargo. And the shape and height coefficients, which can be found from the tables on the right. After the cargo, is the sea state, which includes the wave height, the current speed and the wind speed. The default values of wave height 5 meters current speed 1 knot per second and the wind speed 40 knots per second have been included. And in the end, we need to input the parameters for the tug, which is the actual bollard pull of the tug and the towing efficiency. Default value of 0.75 for the towing efficiency has been used in these calculations. Once the inputs are given the calculations are done and shown on the right hand side. First an applicability check is done, with checks whether the length to breadth ratio, and the breadth to draft ratio are within the required limits. Then the different resistance components, like the wind resistance, the current resistance and the wave drift resistance are calculated, and the total resistance is found out by adding them up, and using the towing efficiency, the final required bollard pull is calculated and checked against the actual bollard pull. Let's move on to the next one which is the OPL guideline. The OPL guidelines are different from DNV, because they do the calculation of required bollard pull for a given forward towing speed, while DNV does the calculation for zero towing speed. So while DNV calculates how much of force will be required to hold a tow in a particular weather, the OPL guideline calculates the force required to pull the tow at a particular speed. In this method also, the blue cells are the input cells. Once we have given the inputs it calculates the different components of the resistance, like the frictional resistance, the wave forming resistance, the wind resistance, current effect, wave effect, and the hawser resistance to give the final bollard pull required. Different coefficients which are to be input by the user for these calculations can be obtained from the tables on the right hand side. The third one is the calculations using the BV rules. Once the input are given the required bollard pull is calculated. There are some inputs which require referring to tables and graphs which are given on the right hand side. The fourth sheet is based on an empirical formula for bollard pull. The formula is shown on the right hand side and the inputs table is on the left. Once these inputs are given, the formula calculates the required bollard pull in different weather conditions, good, rough and extreme, and gives the final required bollard pull in all these three different conditions assuming different towing speeds. So, that was about this Excel sheet which we have developed for doing bollard pull calculations for barges. To download this sheet please log on to the navelarc.com, and please provide your feedbacks and suggestions on how to improve this sheet further. Thanks and good day.